to Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park where Action News reporter Alani Latang tells us a little more about this trail and she also spoke with campers this afternoon. Good evening, Christopher. I'm inside the Pfeiffer Big Sur Park, actually standing right next to the trail where the gunman was. And I was able to speak with a woman who was on this same trail just moments before that shooting. It's kind of scary because we just came here for the weekend. And so you wouldn't think something like that would happen in this area. Some people blowing off what they heard last night as early holiday celebrations. I feel like it was about six to maybe a dozen, nah, six to eight consecutive shots chalked it up to uh, pre 4th of July fireworks. It's this area specifically the Mount Manuel Trail. It's described on the park's website as an eight mile out and back hike that is considered strenuous and the majority of it is in federal forest lands. Police say Pfeiffer Park was full of campers when the gunman was shot and killed by a ranger. However, closing the grounds or evacuating was never needed. The incident is not deterring campers from returning. No, no, we'll come back. In Big Sur, I'm Alani Latang, KSBW Action News 8. We will continue to follow this story both on air and online. Be sure to download the free KSBW mobile app and sign up for breaking news alerts while you're there.